seems to me like you've got to get so damn intimate with all the variables and how you're setting them uh, to more or less memorize what you need to do to get this thing at its maximum breakout depending on the voltage you're feeding it I can because I can tell you right now I'm probably already gonna forget um, you know there's gonna be a an upper limit of where I can crank this uh, gate re gate resistor to uh, push power in it but at the same time depending on where that's at I need to have this cap just right um, and then based on that so you can see right now on its own it's got the breakout where it's so hot <clears throat> it's uh, just burning the crap out of that wire I had to do a lot of playing around with it um, still haven't quite figured out what's causing me to pop these MOSFETs but I've, <laughs> I've popped quite a few of them this is literally my last one right here yeah I had to uh man it took me forever to figure out what was going on I realized my I had a bad solder joint <laughs> on one lead of the pot but the thing was still oscillating it was acting real funky and uh, when I finally sorted that out things looked like they started to uh go a little better but still every now and then it's weird just depending on how I move the cap and how I draw that out and load it this thing will start wigging out and eventually that MOSFET will pop sometimes you can sort of hear it crackling uh, when it's at its limit yeah I did have some zeners on there but uh ended up taking them off and uh, I don't have them on there now still hasn't popped yet so this is really just a matter of finding the right settings <clears throat> so this wasn't really the best setup mainly because I just tossed some shit together but uh um, since I burned, I man, I burned out like way too many fits. Probably six 250s and maybe two or three 460s. That's way too many MOSFETs to be burning out. And I was just anxious to keep messing with it. But clearly, there's this circuit needs rearranging <laughs> to avoid that. But I wanted to mention I went and tossed on this an older MOSFET I had stashed away that. It wasn't really ideal for a lot of other circuits, but uh, you know, as a last ditch, I threw it on here. And, uh, it's managed to survive so far, whereas the other ones just seemed like they would just easily pop. Um, but this thing's making sort of a a funny noise. It can still be tuned. right there it starts to crackle this circuit right here um, it's Tesla Unmer believe but um didn't quite follow it exactly. I don't have 130 wines of the uh, main core, the secondary, uh, but I'm not using half millimeter, I'm using one millimeter wire. So obviously I couldn't fit the 130 on the same size former. Um, everything else is the same except I've got a 15 volt zener because I've got no 12s, uh, which <clears throat> it's probably not a good, I don't know, maybe I should back that down to 10, see how that works, but everything else except I'm using IRFP 250s as well and I've got four nanofarad capacitance um, but you can see this circuit's meant for a maximum of 30 volts so when it's tuned properly um, it'll look way better than mine <laughs> 